Hey everybody, welcome back. All right, Continuous Mind Sense is turned on, and we have just finished shopping in the armory. And so now we have to retrace our steps a bit to get back to where we got the key to said armory. Once again, this is our top sprint speed right now because we're wearing some pretty heavy armor, and we only have... Maneuvering in armor one active right now, but we're we're learning two. Should get that learned relatively soon. That will reduce our encumbrance further, and of course we can always then work on maneuvering in armor three, which is of course the last rank of it. And I do every single run, every single time, rank it up all the way. Uh, but there is something to be said to you know just wearing light armor and being a little quicker on your feet. Alright, so we are back around where we got the armory key. Let's see here. Oh man, he, how did he get out of the way? Oh, there we go. That was good. Always makes me anxious because as soon as I start the wind up, ow! As soon as I start the wind up for the stab, you know he reacts, and then I was like, "Oh, okay, he's gonna step to the side. I gotta try to guess which side it's gonna be," and it gets a little crazy. Now oh, he somehow parried that away. Maybe that one. Got him there, but there wasn't a lot of force behind it. Oh, it got caught on the wall. Not good. Parried it. Tried the overhead to no avail. We got to land one here. Come on. Well, we did land it, but so did he. So now we're at half health. We have to use a half salve. As soon as we get a chance. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Uh, do I not have a... Oh yeah, I do. I do have halves. There we go. So we're going to use one half salve right now. Give us, eventually, most of this red health damage uh, will be taken away, which would be nice. Alright, so he has, oh my goodness, four crush on this mace? Let's switch these out. That one was only three. Dang. Have I found uh, a two-handed mace with four crush before? That is, uh, that is a lot. Alright. I'm, I'm not giving up hope. Not giving up faith in the two-handed spear. Okay. Now I am a well, yeah, a bit nervous about this part up here because if we get rushed by like four enemies, it'd be a problem. Go. There we go. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, but thank you for the friendly fire assistance. Oh, side of the head stab. Love it. Must have been off by just an inch there. Whoops, I meant to stab there. So, oh, side of the head stab. Love it. Uh-oh, I got him in the arm, but then I fell. Oh, that's cheesy. There we go. Another side of the face stab. Is there someone else? Yeah, there's someone else. It's one of these ridiculous guys. Good stab there. Missed with that one pretty badly. Can't, I can't make up... I can't get any ground here. It keeps keeping right up with me until I started to say that. Alright, I need to get some of the stamina back before we get knocked out needlessly here. And I remembered serendipitously that there was a chest here. Let's see. Those are very similar, but actually 
These are just slightly better, are they not? Nah, I'm still going to keep the old ones. I don't know. I didn't look at the coverage, but, I mean, physically it looks like these have better coverage, so. Just looking at them. Ah, they got parried again. Spear got caught. Caught again. There we go. What is he doing? He's just being all calm for some reason. Ah, I was going to step forward again and I did it too late. And he kind of carried that off. There we go. I don't want either one of his spiked maces because we got that covered. Um, and I'm not too impressed with any of this stuff. Okay, so with the exception of that dude, uh, we handled this, this area pretty decently, I thought. I mean, at least we took all these dudes down with a relatively small amount of hassle. The gigantic dual wielding guy. It's kind of a he's his own problem. Uh, okay, nothing there. I know there's a chest there. Right through the neck. Okay. Oh, uh, it's a lamellar. Nope. Oh. And the Lamellar, that's a that's a good example of, you know, some lighter armor that's actually really good. But I'm gonna stick with what I got. It's already in fairly good condition. Those stats are not going to get much better if you upgrade it. But the lack of encumbrance, you know. That's the kind of build you're putting together. Very dexterous and agile build, you know, that'll work pretty well. Alright, this door is like blocked by something so we can't get through there. And here is another place where things can get really interesting. And it's going to be a little more difficult with the spear, I think. I'm going to put that a little bit behind me because I'm going to get flanked eventually. There's some contact. There's some more contact. Am I getting flanked yet? Not yet. Okay, that's good. Try these overheads, maybe? Yeah, I keep running up against this. It's messing me up, but I don't... I'm not going to make it too easy. Oh, there's the flank. Not good. Oh, I actually... Oh, I got him. That was beautiful. Dang. That would have been nice. Go. Oh. Dang. Got the spear all locked up in his sword there. Hmm. I don't have a lot of open area to work with here. Lots of twists and turns. This is not good. I'm trying to get a solid flash on him to knock him over. That's not happening. I think the left to right is probably more likely to do it. Yep, there it is. There we go. And let's see. No, we're good on all that. Long sword, don't really care. Okay, we have learned Mask Mine. We're now going to work on Spirit Form. Uh, 
All right, so there's no one else back there, right? now. Well, maybe there is. There's someone right there. Ah, ah missed. That would have been a great opportunity right there. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, good, good. Friendly fire. Gonna get my spear out from under the table here. Alright. Oh, man. Dang. good all right that worked out better than i thought it was going to based on the early proceedings uh but that ended up being pretty nice all right kind of clear a path here all right and we have now learned maneuvering in armor two so we're going to start working on three immediately so now our encumbrance is down to five and a half what was it at seven and a half or something or eight and a half last time? I don't remember. Okay. Worth it. Ain't okay, no one that way. Now this should be interesting. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay. Dang, I missed again. Ah, I missed. Trying to well, I crouched at the same time, but I ended up throwing my aim off when I was doing that. Man, keep missing just to the right. There we go. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. He kind of ran into it. I didn't even really have to <laughs> to do the thrust there. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we took a little more red damage there, but I, as always, I don't know. But, it's okay. Could have been a lot worse. I don't need any of that. Same story there. Uh, so let's... Well, this is the way we need to go anyway. Deal with this guy. Oh! Man. I can't believe he still got that hit on me. I was being impatient. Should have just waited and gone with the stab. Alright, so now we are going to run into the leprechauns, I think. Oh no, not yet, not yet. Or yeah, not quite yet. I think they're further back here, usually. Yeah. So the leprechauns are all alive. Which means that once you think you've killed them, sometimes you haven't actually killed them, you only knock them out. So you have to make sure they're dead. Uh, also, they're relatively short, so sometimes you have to crouch and swing. I don't think it's going to be a problem stabbing with the spear, though. And then we got the pimp, who we can turn to our side as a minion, because he's alive also, and he won't get angry when you attack other living stuff. Now, the leprechauns are not going to be cool. They're not going to... You know, they're going to attack you. So if you try to make one into a minion and you attack the others, the minion's going to turn on you. So it's just not worth it. Hmm. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's try to get organized here. Yeah, I did crouch for that.
Ah, I thought I was close enough. Alright, this is tricky with the spear. They're they're very quick. That didn't work. The spear keeps getting in the way of this. I'm trying to just drop it right in front of them. Oh, that's good. Ah, about to crouch. Okay. I'm not sure the spear is a good choice here. Yeah, let's switch. She's probably not dead, so I'm just going to hit her a couple times to make sure that she is. Dang it. These leprechauns can be really annoying sometimes. <laughs> Really annoying. You know what? Switch back to the spear. Yeah, this one's absolutely dead. I'm just, I'm just angry that I can't get him with the spear. I have to, I have to keep trying. There we go. That is nice. All right. So let's. Again, make sure here. That ought to do it. Okay. Now, uh, now I gotta figure out where are we? Which way did we enter here from? This is. Uh, yeah, that's... No, actually. That's not the hallway I thought it was. We came out here... Okay, so yeah, so this is the way. Man, I really got us backed out of that place. We are really far away. This person's behind a locked door that you can't access from here, by the way. Was there a second? No, now that's unusual. Is that one of the leprechauns? Did they move all the way up here? Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Probably dead, but... We gotta make sure. Well, that'll do it. There we go. Okay. So, the leprechauns, now that they have been taken care of, we can minionize the pimp. I like to call him Purple Rain. It'll become obvious why in a second. And I've just minionized him. There you go. Alright, now do I have anything I can give him armor-wise right now? No, but I will upgrade his weapon significantly. And he can wear this helmet for now, I guess. Alright, cool. So again, because he's alive, when we attack zombies and stuff, and skeletons, he does not care. He hates them just like we hate them. But other living creatures, uh, that will be a problem. And it's especially problematic because there's a bug where if you save and exit, you know, and then come back to this game, all the living characters will come back to life. So the, the leprechauns will be back. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's leave this here. Let's give him that male... Best and heavy gambeson. Now he's already got gloves. Make sure he has a belt. Yeah, and these will be better shoes for now. Over here, uh, the van braces, I suppose, could be useful. 
Yeah. And then lastly, let me double check that. It's the same. All right. So this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you as always for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you would like to, and I will see you all next time.